You want to know how to start writing a screenplay. You've got the formatting down, the idea, and now it's time to actually write the script. I'm going to show you how to start, how to get into it, and what I did that allowed me to write a hundred pages in one month, and it was fun and exciting. You may have an idea for a screenplay that you think is really good, or maybe just a scene that you think is intriguing enough, a, a different twist uh, that could be fleshed out into a full script. Bottom line is you want to write a script. Do you have enough of an idea though to start? Well, the answer is yes. There are times when you want to have all your ducks in a row, particularly like before you show up on set. There are a lot of ducks that gotta be in a row to, to, to get there and shoot the scene. But when you start writing, you're in formulation mode. You're collecting the assets, the written ones, the bits and pieces that go into your script that you're going to eventually edit, move around, cut out, add to uh, later on. The process of writing lets your imagination flow, allowing you to put the ideas that you've been percolating in your head down onto paper but also new ones that can only come out during the writing process. It's a bit like writing a song. A songwriter may have a riff or a melody uh, or a bit of a melody in their head, but it's the actual process of playing it, writing it, uh, where the song is actually written. It's never what was initially in their head. The process creates the song. Okay, okay, Frank, I got it. Where do I start? How do I start? Well, here's what I did. Last year, I jumped on the NaNoWriMo bandwagon. Now, NaNoWriMo stands for National Novel Writing Month. And in November of each year since 1999, uh, uh, thousands, I think hundreds of thousands of writers have participated. Now, they're writing novels, but that doesn't mean we can't jump on that wordsmithing bandwagon. Now, their intent is that budding novelists write 50,000 words. Yeah, that's a lot. We don't have to write that much. For script writing, right, we think in page count. I wanted to write 90 pages, which is you know, kind of a standard. It's about an hour and a half of screen time, right? A page equals roughly a minute. Okay, so a script page is about 200 words. So that's 18,000 words I needed to write. Okay, that's not too bad, I think. Well, that ends up being 600 words a day I needed to write over the month of November. I needed to think in word count in order to use the, these great sites that the NaNoWriMo participants use to track their progress like a write track. It keeps track of your total word count progress and lets you know if you're ahead or behind. It'll change and amortize how much you need to write going forward. It can also add more weight to certain days, like the weekend, if you have more time to write then, um, and less on weekdays because of your day gig or whatever, or on Thanksgiving. And what's nice is, is nice is you just do a, a weight number. You don't have to give hours or it doesn't get heady and complicated. It's just like, I feel like I could do a higher percentage on a weekend than on a weekday. Each day you input either your total uh, word count or what you wrote for that day. I liked inputting the total word count. That was just easy for me to pull out of the script formatting program I use, Writer Duet. Um, and just let the program figure it out for me, right? Using these programs, particularly for me, Write Track, was super helpful because it gave me a gauge of where I was and how I was doing. It was actually empowering and kept me out of my head to know here's where I'm at, here's where I'm going. So I could actually every day and sometimes every week sort of celebrate little wins. Oh my God, I'm getting further. Oh my God, I'm a quarter of the way there. Oh my God, I'm 50% of the way there. It, I highly recommend using it. If you're like me, it's hard to stay on task, nose to the grindstone, writing for an extended period of time, because I'm gonna get distracted, particularly by second guessing myself, judging what I'm writing. The beauty in this whole process is don't edit, 
just right and write too much if you have to. In NaNoWriMo, they don't even look at their finished draft until a month later in January. Don't edit as you go along. Just write and aim for that daily word count. Now, you may get ideas for a scene that should have come earlier. No problem. Write that scene and put it in earlier where it's supposed to go. Just don't edit anything else that's there. If you get an idea, and I did, for how to fix a scene, I wouldn't go and edit the scene that was there. I would just write a brand new one. Well, even if it's not the whole scene, maybe it's a section, maybe it's a paragraph, maybe it's a line of dialogue. Just add it in. Don't edit or delete or change what's already there. Just get words, dialogue, action on paper. Some days you'll write like crap and you'll know it. But don't worry about it because you're supposed to. You need to, at times, get that out in order to get to that great scene that's behind it. It also helps create the habit of writing on a regular basis. Creating habits has been a revolution for me in getting things done that I really want to do, but I avoid because I think about it too damn much. Stephen Geis' book, Mini Habits, is really great uh, um, about how to create these habits. It's a great system to learn through um, mini habits, like you know, writing a paragraph or maybe only writing a sentence a day. Create lasting habits that you can keep for a lifetime. The beauty with habits is you just do it. You don't have to think about it. I bet you don't have to think about brushing your teeth. You just do it. Try not to brush your teeth tomorrow morning. Uh, you'll probably just do it and realize after, oh shoot, I was supposed to not as this experiment. Well, you just did it because you didn't think about it. Or if you actually stop, you'll kind of keep being pulled and tugged to the bathroom to like brush your teeth. Habits. Create them and you, do, you will write without thinking about it. Another trick that I use is to set a timer for my writing and for taking breaks. I use an app called, uh, a little widget app called Be Focused, um, and I write for 25 minutes and take a break for five. Generally what happens is when that 25 minute alarm goes off, I don't stop because I'm on a roll. I just got to get that sentence or that last paragraph uh, finished, which is totally fine as long as I take the five minute break. It's a great way to just get you started because usually once you get going, um, you, you just go. You have a great scene in mind for how the murderer will be revealed in your murder mystery, but not a good scene for how the body will be discovered. Don't worry about it right now. Write it generic and cliche. You know you need the scene, but you'll come back to it later and add to it, write and adjust. And you'll find that as you're engaged in the writing process, adding to scenes, dialogue, that ideas will start to pop up. And more than likely, you'll discover, oh my God, this is how we're gonna discover that body. And it'll work with how that murderer is revealed. What to do in between writing sessions on your first script? Read this book, Story by Robert Mackey. This award-winning book covers all the questions you have or will have about writing stories in a screenplay, like the story arc. Now, my punk ethos bristled at the fact uh, uh, that there might be some Hollywood formula to writing a script, you know, but he trashes that notion in this book like how there actually are no formulas, but there is an inherent structure to telling stories that is a part of being human beings and is how stories have been told for millennia. And it's why uh, a good story will resonate regardless of where you're from. Why those punk songs I liked back in the day had a structure. They were, there was an A part and then a B, and then it repeated the A and B part with a different set of anti-establishment lyrics. And then boom, C, the chorus came in. And then it repeated the whole thing again and until it built up to a big finish. That's a structure. 
and that's a common structure in in songs. The structure of a story is sort of the skeleton that you hang your scenes and ideas, uh, events, actions, conflict, dialogue on that tell the story that you're trying to tell. Structure in your script, in your acts, in your scenes, even in the beats in your scenes, are vital to telling a compelling story. He covers them all in this amazing book. I found it very helpful to read this while I was writing, um, not only because it gave me ideas, but it allowed a lot of things to percolate in my brain that were really helpful during the editing phase. This book, I don't think really, and I think he says it in there, it's not meant for you to read before you write. Write, read this book before you edit. Because this is where you're gonna find out, okay, well, why is this scene generic? Or why is this not working? Or what's missing? Anyone can tell a story, but do you want it? tell a compelling story. Now I said you don't have to have all your ducks in a row before you write, but uh, there is some prep you can do and that many writers do that is very helpful. For NaNoWriMo, they'll do it in October, which is to work on um, their characters. The NaNoWriMo site has some great exercises, which are linked in the description below, um, to work on the backstory of your character, to flesh them out more. And why that is helpful is when you actually start writing, uh, it makes it a lot easier to write dialogue and compelling dialogue from the mouth of that character if you know uh, better who they are. They become really real for you. It's a really cool process. Not only that, but the writing of it. I've written characters who, for me, they're, they're real. They, there's something about them. Um, these exercises are super helpful. Thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful. Um, excited? Get there, start writing, get into that habit. It really is so fulfilling. Let us know any questions you have in the in the uh, down below. Write them, type them out.